Hi, welcome to CASMED, a career-based high school with an emphasis on medical and biomedical research. Let's check it out! We have a small campus and we're able to focus in on those few students that do come our way. We have 150 that we are allowed to bring into our campus every year and currently we have 102 students. Uh, what makes us unique and separate from all the other campuses and all the other high schools in San Antonio is that we're focusing on medicine. At CASMED, we have three pathways, biomedical, public health, and traditional medical. My pathway is traditional medical. I think it's, it's phenomenal. Right now, uh, I'll be honest, when I was in high school, I had no idea what I wanted to do, and I certainly had no, no idea what a uh, career in healthcare or research or public health even look like. So what's exciting is that the world is huge out there for them. And the fact that they get experience with real industry partners to see what their lives could really look like, I think that's what inspires them. And I think we will carry them through that long period of delayed gratification to work hard for what they're trying to achieve. Here at CASMED, you will notice the campus is very much like a professional environment. Students get to work with new technology like this virtual anatomy much table. The anatomy much is like, it shows you the human body. You can pick whatever, male, female. And basically just like, you can like cut and you can see the inside the body. It's really amazing, honestly, because we are so lucky to have that anatomy much table. Not everybody has it. I think we are the only high school in San Antonio that has it. Only a couple of colleges have it. It's just amazing that we got the opportunity that I have the opportunity to see something some very new technology just right in front of my eyes and seeing how everything works. I think that uh, being able to start something new and be part of that culture uh, to build that culture is uh, a great experience and also being able to follow a cohort from freshman year to graduation I think that's an honor uh, that uh, very few people have and privilege. Looking forward to that. Well, the, the focus of a project-based learning unit is that the students um, receive a question and they have to seek solutions. So our questions are related to medical issues or health issues um, and you know we're, we're in the the beginning baby stages of this so we haven't seen one play out um, but they had they, they got their feet wet a little bit in June where uh, when they were at SAC and the San Antonio College uh, professors created this amazing um, four-day experience where they were given a case study and they had to do a lot of research and by the end of the week they had to present uh, what killed the patient. So they've done a little bit of that and in the spring we'll, we'll really have one that's blown up um, that will be related to diabetes. And we chose that because it, it is such a problem in San Antonio. So trying to pick topics that are relevant to our students' lives and um, hoping to make changes so that we can solve these issues. One of the other great components to project-based learning that we have here at CASMED is all our partners. They bring in their ideas as far as what's, out, what's happening in their field or what, what's necessary for our students to learn to get into their specific fields. And so all our partners play a critical role in our curriculum and how we are creating those projects and taking a look at how, is, how our kids are making the connections with one class to another, whether it's math to science or reading to art. All our kids are making connections because the teachers are planning and we plan Monday through Thursday in the mornings and we're talking about what's happening in, in, in each specific classroom. And at the beginning of each nine weeks, the teachers share what are our projects and what am I specifically teaching this nine weeks and what are the objectives that they need to learn. And so teachers start making connections and that's what learning is all about. As students, we get to hear from industry professionals like Dr. Ochoa here in our auditorium. So here we usually have a guest speaker every probably every other Friday or every Friday. And since we're a medical base, a medical campus, a lot of people want to come here and they want to teach us about all the different things, experiences that they had. So who knows what a stroke is? Oh, okay. So I am an industry partner with CASMED and I was asked here today to talk about my pathway from 
high school to where I am today uh, and what that looks like as far as my challenges uh, and my decision, how I made decisions to end up here with uh, the SAFE Clinic. My experience has been that this school is open to any and all new ideas on how we educate these students. Uh, whether it's internships, whether it's uh, going to places to visit, uh, making sure they pull in all the resources our community has to offer from academic centers to, to private businesses. To me, that's revolutionary. I've never seen anything like that before. And so it's great when you see the entire community and this entire city collaborating to make sure we give the best experience and the best education to these students. Another unique thing here at CASMED is that we're a dual language campus and even offer summer trips to universities in Mexico. I take Spanish one and I think Spanish is important for job. So like, like there's other people who don't speak English. So it's good to be like bilingual so you can communicate and they can feel comfortable. My first language is Spanish, Espanol. And it's really important to help people like that because not a lot of people speak more than one language. So in the medical field, a lot of things are lost through communication and making this school a dual language program is really important because if we want to be doctors, we want to learn how to communicate with everybody so we can help everybody and do the best we can. I'm taking Spanish too and um, I think it's important because we live in Texas where a lot of Spanish is spoken and there isn't a lot of dermatologists that, dermatologists that speak Spanish. Well, I'm interested in dermatology because I have, I have eczema and I, I just want to get a better understanding for other people because earlier in my life I really didn't understand how it worked or why it happened. And I would just want kids to know that it's, it's okay, but it is something different. I feel like we have a laser focus. Um, in my previous 26 years of experience, Student, freshmen especially were just all over the place just feeling lost all the time and running here and there and trying to juggle all these courses and our students are juggling a lot as well but they have a, a unique focus in that they have this you know life goal that they want to achieve and we're trying to show them all the steps to get there. I'm not from this exact neighborhood, but being from San Antonio and having family and friends and having taught um, around, around San Antonio, I, it gives me a lot of pride and um, also a lot of pressure because I feel like, you know, it's up to us to help us improve our students' opportunities in their community. And I feel like it's a necessity, definitely. And every day I think about that, um, that, you know, I'm one of the just one, one piece of the puzzle that, that's, that's going to help them have a su successful future. CAS Med makes me feel really excited about my future because it is showing me everything I'm going to do in the future. It's leading me through a very direct path that's really going to help me get where I want to be. As I hope to become a pediatrician in the future, it's really like guiding us there. And in my life, CASMED has just helped a lot because I know that our teachers are always here for us so if I ever need anything, if I'm ever dealing with something, I know that our counselors, our administrators and all of our teachers are here to help and listen. So that has really gotten me through the days and keeping a smile on my face. What I see day to day in my classroom is uh, students really involved. Uh, we have tutoring after school for our students and every day, I have it every day, and I have probably averaging out 15 students per day, which is a lot. Um, other schools I've been at, I've been teaching for 34 years, and I've never had as many students that come for tutoring and really want help. So to help students that really want the help, it just feels so uh, encouraging for teachers. You know, we a lot of times we don't get to experience that, and here at CASMED we do. The environment here is very steady and calm, and the teacher, you can have a very one-on-one -on -one conversation with the teacher, and it's a very small environment when you get the help you need. The one thing that we're creating here at this campus is a family, and a place to where our students feel safe to be risk takers, where our students feel encouraged to think beyond the box, to be kind to one another, to be respectful, and to learn all the skills that many of us learned sometimes later in life. It's, it's really a unique place to be at this time. 
Casped High School. Learn to love learning and learn to love each other.